there are other serverless offerings on the market. I think namely Plan and Scale and Aurora. When I started the company, I had a little bit of an insight into AWS Aurora and they always track, you know, they build something and they see how much of an impact this is to the, to the overall business. And when they shipped Aurora Serverless V1, which is their first implementation now, they're on the V2, which by the way, doesn't scale all the way to zero. But that thing took off like there was no tomorrow for Aurora. So that was a big deal and a signal for me then, figuring out how to build a dominant OLTP cloud database. It might be obvious why it took off, but in your opinion, why is this space in particular, you know, growing I, I so think fast? It's friction and, yeah, I think it's friction and cost. It's as simple as that. And it's friction, it's cost, and then it's what people want. People want Postgres. <laughs> so uh, there's this famous um, website for database people called DB Engines Ranking. And then if you like go on Google, type DB Engine Ranking, and you see what's going on in the top five uh, databases, you will see that those top five are MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, Postgres, and MongoDB. These are the top five databases uh, in the DB engine ranking. Out of the top five, only Postgres is growing. So in addition to convenience and not thinking about sizing and provisioning and stuff like that, and cost, and cost comes mostly from the fact that you architected the system such that you never overpay for resources. There's also, we're on the right trend lines with, with regard to Postgres. There's just more and more Postgres out there and people want Postgres. 